here at Tullamore. Okay, if you recall, this has a living room. And a step down to what we thought might be an office. Take a peek out at the yard again. We do have stucco. And we have uh, pocket doors here. I'd forgotten. These are where uh, the sun has bleached these. Honestly, I think if you got some, um, oh, what's that stuff called? You could just restain them. I bet you could get somebody and it'd be no big deal. They're very oaky. Double uh, ovens. You know, some new appliances. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Does this have gas? No, it has oil, so you'd have to bring in propane. Sanitary tub, second staircase, you're going to need carpet there, you guys. Steps down. Not too many by. Dining room. Ooh, I forgot about that. I need a little bit of a different lighting. All right, I remember the orange.
Hands. Not bad. Sorry, the lighting's not great. Okay, this was that bonus room. This, did you guys see this? Yeah. I heard you're a master drywaller. Just a portion of it could be an office. Yeah. You have to make the whole thing an office. Right. How would you heat it? I guess you just... You just insulate it and drywall it. Yeah. Put a couple collar ties across for your ceiling. Okay. Yeah, that has that's a real advantage. All right. And... I forgot about this. It's a pretty lovely closet. House, the basement of many doors. So we talked about that, you know, it would be maybe awkward to have an office down here, but if you finish that other room up there, I mean, you wouldn't need to. It's a great, you know, it's walk out, it's huge. Could have a pool table included, maybe. There's something over here, Brian, I want you to take a peek at because it's very interesting. Is this the whole house? Whole house. Whole, yes. No gas. But there's uh, a whole heap and lot of wires coming down here. Thing, yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is really 